Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to aim train. If you have a higher sensitivity like me, uh, my sense isn't crazy high, but it, it's it's up there. It's 0 0.4800. Uh, if you guys have the sense, let me know what your sense is in the comments below uh, with your DPI. Again, my sense is 0 0.4800. Don't ask me what my sense is or I'm not going to reply. Um, anyways, what I like to do here is basically similar to my other routines. Basically, what I want to make sure that we're doing whenever we do this, by the way, it's streak under streak you click eliminate 50 and what you want to do is whenever you're shooting make sure that you're strafing in between shots because this is going to help you actually translate your skill and aim into the game whenever you're playing comp or whatever you play um because if you just kind of sit here and shoot and you don't move the whole time it's going to make it harder also another thing i we like to do is come out to these sides or even like in the middle which i don't usually do but i'll go ahead and show you guys what i mean by moving and i'll explain it as i'm doing it so yeah i you notice I move in between each shot. This is called a counter strafing. So you want to counter strafe in between shots when you kill these guys. And try to try to predict. Whenever you shoot, you can place your crosshair back in the middle here to try to try to scan like where they're coming from. You can also listen. Uh, this this routine trains listening for the locations of enemies as well. Although that's the less important aspect. You see I'm kind of a little bit lost here. But that's okay. Um, the main part is that I'm strafing between shots, and then I'm stopping as I shoot, because you need to be still whenever you shoot. And, yeah. So, we can also do this out on the sides. And the purpose of doing it out on the sides is because, uh, whenever you're in a game, you're not gonna be shooting enemies from the same location the entire game. You're gonna be moving around, you're gonna be taking fights in different areas. So, this is why you really want to do this, and this is good for high sensitivity, because... Whenever you're out here, you're going to be turning your, uh, turning a lot, right? Uh, not a lot, but occasionally. See, because they spawn behind me there. So, whenever they spawn behind you like this, you're going to have to flick. And this will happen in a game where there's an enemy, like, somewhere you didn't expect. And you have to, like, flick around to try to find them like this. And if you can get in the habit of turning like this and consistently hitting shots, it's going to be very nice for you. And they keep spawning behind you. And this is what higher sense is really good for as well, or one of the many things it's good for is being able to turn quickly and lock onto your enemy like that. And again, you notice that I haven't stopped moving between shots here. This is to simply just try to avoid enemies. Not a great score, but I'm not really trying to get a high score here. Um, really just trying to teach you guys what you want to do. But that, those are the main things you want to do. Again, you can do it on that side. Yeah. You can do it over here. Uh, you can also even do something like this where you can kind of... Actually, you probably shoot it from up here. You can just come up on high ground like this and kind of strafe around on the high ground. This is going to be kind of like, you know, you can imagine like being on a heaven in any end of the maps. A lot of the maps have heavens. So like you can imagine being on, I don't know, split heaven or something. Or maybe even like icebox up top. Um, this is kind of imitating that. So this is how you would want to practice your aim for loca uh, locations like that. This is kind of hard actually. But it is a good way to train. But, yeah, what else? Uh, we can also practice flicking with a uh, higher, higher sense, just like this. So what I like to do is turn on, just click practice here in the range. And basically, I like to click one on one side and then flick over this line in the middle. Uh, so kind of like this. But kill one on either side and just keep flicking back and forth. And this is good at flicking, or, uh, yeah, training or flicking. Mainly just because you want to try to click flick straight onto their heads and if you aren't that's okay just keep practicing it's not the easiest thing to do consistently but you can go for smaller flicks too if you want because some flicks some flicks are smaller than others in actual games there you see i'm heating up just a little bit not exactly but um, this is another way we can train high sensitivity. But other than that, hopefully this is helpful. If you guys do these things, like, 15 minutes before your game, it's going to help you tremendously. I know a lot of you, like, I've made so many of these videos, and I know, like, probably majority of you, actually, I don't know, probably majority of you do warm up, but there's still, uh, m like, surprising percentage of people that don't warm up. Like, whenever I coach people, they're like, you warm up, and they're like, nah, not really. So you should probably warm up, honestly, if you don't, and you want to actually improve. Like, if you don't want to improve and you don't warm up, that's one thing. But if you want to improve and you're like, why can't I improve? Like, you should be warming up for sure. 10 to 15 minutes before you play every time. Consistent. Stay consistent. Don't take breaks of warming up. And you're going to do really well. So, 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave your sense in the comments. But subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.